Hello everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag and also do a review on my Balenciaga A4 mini tote. Um, before I do that, I'll go over what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just um, blue jeans, you probably can't see them. <laughs> just some blue jeans there, excuse the squeaky chair. Um, a Balmain sleeveless t-shirt, it just has um, silver buttons here with the silver writing. On my lips, I'm wearing Hermes, it's called Rouge Orange. It's a burnt, not burnt orange, but like a red orange, like a poppy orange, um, like the shirt basically. And this is what it looks like. It's a matte color. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's a matte color. And it's um, for my perfume. I'm wearing Jeu Dior, Christian Dior. This is the atomizer. I don't know if I showed this or not before. I think I did. Yeah, and then it just has a CD at the top. Um, let me see if I can get it close up. This is just the atomizer. Um, I've shown the, the full size already. This is what I'm wearing. This is also in my handbag. So, um, oh, I'm not done. I'm not wearing any necklaces. I'm wearing an everyday Rolex ring. That, I mean, the everyday Rolex, the everyday ring. I'm wearing the Gucci um, cigar style ring in sterling silver. I'm wearing the sterling silver hoops. I think they're like two inches in diameter. And a Gucci sterling silver bracelet with the interlocking G. It's a roller link bracelet. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to go over um, my bag. This is a true what's in my bag. It's also... Um, since I'm showing the bag, is showing what's in my bag. This is the bag of the day that I'm wearing. So I'll also go over um, what I have in the bag. So what A4, I think that's what it's called. It's an A4 mini tote um, from Balenciaga. And what it looks like, it's got the zipper on the sides where you can um, zip it down and expand it. And it has like the wing, looks like the wings come out on it. No pockets in the back. No feet on the bottom the regular Balenciaga mirror. I just let it hang for the most part when I wear it. And this is a adjustable removable strap. So you can see the holes there. It has five holes. I have mine on the longest setting because sometimes I wear it crossbody. When I just wear it top handle and I let the um, chain, I mean the strap hang, then I just let the mirror hang. If I'm going to wear this crossbody, then I put the mirror up because I don't want the mirror um, rubbing against my clothes and getting color transfer. So I just toss the mirror inside like that. Um, yeah, it fits on your wrist. I, I don't think it goes up your arm, but it can fit on your wrist if you like to carry your bag like that. And it's a cute little tote. It's, a, it's like a perfect little square. I bought it because at the time I didn't have anything this color. I've had this for years. I didn't have anything this color in my wardrobe and I thought it would be a nice pop of color. When I think about the colors I wear on a regular basis, I figured this will be a good pop of color and I'm buying it because I don't have anything this color in my wardrobe. So it will be a true pop of color. Um, and it works like a charm. This works with almost every color I have in my wardrobe and the style of it matches my aesthetic and how I dress on a regular basis anyways. I did wind up buying stuff that um, matches this bag. For example, the lipstick from Hermes, which I've had for a long time now. This top from Balmain, which I've had for a few years. But I had this bag in mind when I bought the lipstick and, and this top. I wound up buying another top too. It's an off the shoulder top. It's more of a, um, like a cute little summertime girly type of top. But even though the color matches perfect, the styles are different. This is more, I don't know, more like everyday and not too girly, whereas the shirt is a very girly shirt. It's, it's it's a blouse and it's very frilly. And so this doesn't really go with frilly. So I don't, I've never worn this bag with that top, even though it matches perfectly. The, the vibe, there's two different vibes. So I don't want that to be clashing. Um, I'll, I'll try it out in the future and see if maybe I change my mind. But as of right now, um, I typically wear this with um, everything except that top, basically, when I want to have a pop of color. Um, this could be worn on the shoulder. I'll, I'll try to demonstrate, but you can't see because I'm sitting down in the chair. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see. But this is what it looks like when you're wearing it on the shoulder. And then when you want to wear it crossbody, it's kind of hard to demonstrate with these buttons here. But um, I hate this chair. I like the way it looks. I just hate that it squeaks all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go over what I have inside. I'm going to pop this and this in here because this would normally be in here. This is what I'm wearing today, so this would normally be in here. Um, so let me show you what it looks like with my stuff inside. And we'll go over everything that I have inside, which is, for the most part, everything that I carry all the time. So... But if you wanted to carry a lot of stuff and convert this into a bigger bag, this is what it looks like. These bags came in different sizes and a bunch of different colors. This is the mini, but they have um, different sizes. And of course, when okay, so now I'm going to go over what I have inside. Toiletry 15 from Louis Vuitton in the monogram. In this back pocket here, I have my double pass mirror from Chanel.
um, six ring key holder monogram from Louis Vuitton. Wallet, well, what I'm using as my wallet, which is a card holder, a zip around card holder from Cartier. I've shown this in a previous video before. It just has gold hardware and it looks like the boxes of when you get your jewelry from Cartier. And I'll open it up. Um, this holds probably about four cards on each side. I have all my cards on one side right now. And you can see in there, it just says Cartier made in Italy. Cards don't fit in the middle compartment. Um, I pretty much use this for coins. I don't carry um, cash hardly ever. So the cards I carry is, is fine on me, but normally it's just a card. So that's it. That's my wallet for the day. I already went over my um, lipstick that I'm wearing from Hermes. My perfume that I'm wearing, Judd Dior by Christian Dior. This is the atomizer. Um, actually, it was a set. So one time I bought the perfume and it was like around holiday time. And um, the atomizer came with it. So I guess I got a two for one because I went in there just thinking I was just going to refill my Judd Dior by Christian Dior perfume. And they had the atomizer in there that was um, already filled up. So that was cool. It was around the same price anyways. And then my car key. I forgot I had one of these little packets in there. One of those little fresh packets or whatever. But that's it. It's completely empty. So it's a combination of suede and leather. The lighter parts are suede. And then the darker parts are leather. So you have this one pocket here. There's no zippers or buttons or magnetic closures. It's just one pocket. One slip compartment. The bottom of it is... The base of it right there is leather. And then on this side it says Balenciaga. You can see the magnetic thing there. The closure and then it just says Balenciaga there an additional little tab right here and it says Balenciaga Paris uh, and like I said there's no feet at the bottom this is just a quick video I just want to go over um, my handbag that I'm wearing today what's in my bag for today uh, and that's it hope you like the video bye